It's time for Rusty How To. Guys, for the purposes of this video, I've already gone ahead and cut the tops off of these so that it's easy for me to hold my phone, which is actually what I'm recording on today, and uh, open these up and show you. I bought these for $6.85 a pack. And it's been a long time since I've opened any of these. I bought a few to resell. I'm going to make not only the money back on these, but also uh, make a little bit of profit. Uh, and I just wanted to see uh, and show you. Let's do this together and see. Is it worth it? Is it worth $6.85? I want to know if I can find something in here that I could resell without having to spend money to have it um, you know, valued uh, or graded. And see if anything in these is going to be worth it. So let's start off. I'm going to try to slip these out here. Um, we're going to see what we find. So starting off here, I'm going to try to be careful in case there is something valuable in here. Uh, all right, so we got some Dodgers here. Who else do we have? These are kind of really cool looking. Estrada, we got a Yankee here. Altuve. Our Jonathan Shoop. Mac Miner, I love the I love the look of these. First of all, the look of these is very kind of throwback, very retro looking, which seems to be all the rage these days. J.P. Crawford, not seeing anything that's incredible just yet. Here we got uh, some rookie all stars. Well, look at this, Varsho. I'm gonna put that to the side because it's rookies, so you never know. One of these guys might blow up. Uh, Tim Anderson, Dylan Cease, still not seeing anything crazy. Uh, flashback 1972. Howard rings up a first home run in the in, in uh, the Rangers history. That's pretty awesome. Joey Gallo in action, folks. <laughs> what do we got over here? Some pitchers: Tom Hatchin, Nate Pearson, Goldschmidt. Wow, look at he's a Cardinal now, and uh, he's hitting a big old homer. Hopefully, <laughs> for those Cardinals fans. Uh, Josh Stalmont, still not seeing anything in cra uh, crazy incredible yet. We got uh, Gritchick. <coughs> he actually used to be a Cardinal. Um, Kesson Hira. Alex Cobb. Javier. And that's it, folks. So I don't want to say that that's a dud. I mean, there's definitely... Uh, good players in here and people that uh, you might follow if you follow uh, baseball. But we really didn't see anything incredible, I don't think, unless this one's uh, okay. Uh, some of these Yankees, I'm going to put them aside, but again, it's not a signed card. It's not a hologram. It's not anything like that. Uh, let's move over to the next one. Because I got two here, I really just have to find something now in this pack that's going to be worth uh, the, the cost of both of the others. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say. You're going to say, you know what? It's not just about the value of the cards. It's about the entertainment and the fun of it. And I totally get that. You know, when I was younger, I used to record, uh, I used to, um, I used to trade these cards. I used to buy them and trade them with my friends back in the 80s when they really weren't more worth anything. <laughs> but it was so, it was loads and loads of fun, guys. Uh, but I'm not really interested in, in it for trading. I don't have my, my buddies coming over anymore. This is really about just finding something that I could resell because that's what I do for a living. Um, here we got uh, Nathan here, Evaldi. I'm going to move this over. Arenado. Look at that in action. I'm going to move him over here. Yerkson, we got a uh, little, little paper thing, inserts in the middle there this time. It's kind of strange. Abraham Toro, there's another Arnado. We put him over there. He's a rookie from Colorado Rockies. Justin Turner, Lane Thomas, Fernando Tadis Jr., Bassett, Souza. Who do we got over here? Oh, old school. We got Lou Brock. Oh, look at that. And Fernando Titus Jr. That's a fun one. I'm going to put that over to the side as well. Okay, we got uh, Verdugo, Abreu, Joe Kelly. Have here so some duplicates from the ones I just pulled out. Giolito, uh, Trey Turner, and Brandon Lowe in action. And Kyle Schwarber. Well, guys, this has been a load of fun, but I didn't find anything terribly valuable in here. So if I was just looking to find a card that was going to be enough to, for me to pay for my pack by selling it, I, I don't think I did it. But you know what? Let's look up a couple of these cards and see if we can find any of these that might have been a little bit valuable. All right, guys. Well, here I am. I'm on my eBay app. I'm just going to look up a couple of these. Uh, I've got these Arenado ones uh, I looked up here. 
and sold items. So, you know, you can see here, you know, basically three, three to three bucks for this one here I got that says rookies. We've got one that says he's in action, rookie in action. There's another one uh, of his. But as I'm scrolling down, you know, we're looking at three to four bucks for that. Here's one, uh, 35 cents just for that rookie in action. If I sold those two together, I could probably get six or seven dollars uh, for that. So nothing, nothing wild or crazy. Uh, the tops, uh, this one for uh, Titus Jr., um, this one's a little bit better. Again, this is not a refractor. Um, this is just a regular one. So, you know, around $8 to $10 there, too. So, you know, we're at basically $14 for three to four cards here. If I turned around and tried to resell these, uh, I could make my 14 bucks back. Um, on, and I get to keep, you know, the, the remainder of these cards, which is, which is not too terrible guys, but again, nothing big. So uh, what it's looking like to me, unless you hit like randomly hit on some awesome signature card or a fractor or something, basically you could probably with a little work, make your money back. But again, that's time, that's effort. So, uh, hope that was fun for you guys. I wish I could have pulled something better out, but you know what? Uh, I guess I'm just not that lucky. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair.